just saying. That, yeah, he's, just is he progressing? Of, yes. Yeah. He did another Alter G workout this morning. He's up to 60% of his weight on the Alter G. If you've ever run on the Alter G, that feels like you're flying without your <laughs> legs touching the ground. Um, it's um, it's great that, and I think the videos are great too because like it continues to show the progress because sometimes you know when you're in the midst of that long rehab you don't feel the progress of the day-to-day the way now we all might see a video or or somebody that hasn't seen him may see a video and say man he is really getting better um but he's super long way away from that even being in a one-on-oh workout where he's cutting Check back tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. What's good, y'all? It's King T's. Welcome back to Throughout the Association and Gordon Hayward. We all saw what happened to Gordon Hayward. No need to go back over it, but this was Brad Stevens pretty much ruling out Gordon Hayward for the rest of the season. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about his Gordon Hayward coming back or not this year. He looked like he can come back, but according to Brad Stevens, that's not going to happen. Now, do I believe Brad Stevens? Yes and no. The reason I say no is because Even if there was this secret plan to bring back Gordon Hayward before the playoffs or during the playoffs, do you think Brad Stevens would actually tell us that now and put more pressure on Gordon Hayward before he come back and ruin the surprise? No, that's not going to happen. But the reason I say yes is because, first of all, Brad Stevens, he he seemed like a pretty honest guy. I think he's the second best coach in the NBA behind Popovich, but that's besides the point. But if you watch Brad Stevens' interviews, he's usually pretty honest in them. But more importantly, you would be setting Gordon Hayward up to fail if you bring him back right before the playoffs or even in the playoffs. No player can be hurt all season and come back and be in the playoffs just fine. Y'all seen Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas came back for Cleveland and looked trash, and that was in the regular season. So could you imagine what Gordon Hayward would look like if he came back in the playoffs now don't get me wrong it's better to have gordon hayward than to not have him but actually to me in this case it's not gordon hayward needs to enjoy the rest of his season playing 2k go ahead and download fortnite while you at it and i'm not just saying that he actually he actually does play video games to kind of distract him from his injury but when boston lose in the second round or the conference finals gordon hayward needs to get ready in the summer and come back next year ready what you guys think about this and definitely subscribe